If you use Twitter, you are well aware of its power for good and bad. Part of Twitter's appeal is that it embraces free speech. People can tweet whatever they want. But when those tweets become, become vile, personal, and threatening, who makes it stop? In the UK, the police are now investigating a series of bomb and rape threats made against an MP and journalists. And as Stuart Greer reports, executives at Twitter are being called to account too. My colleagues and I are delighted to unveil the new Jane Austen note, which we will do carefully. It all began with the celebration of a famous female author, Mark Carney, the former Bank of Canada and new Bank of England governor, announcing Jane Austen would appear on the new 10 pound note. The move came after a successful campaign to make sure at least one woman, besides the Queen, remained on British currency. We should start celebrating women so that young women grow up, growing up have, have role models to look up to. But then the vicious and vile abuse began on Twitter. The women who spearheaded the campaign and their allies were threatened with violence and rape. The online abuse from so-called Twitter trolls escalated yesterday to bomb threats. The police came around to me and they checked for devices. Uh, they then said you might want to consider whether you stay here tonight. Two men have been arrested but have yet to be charged. Prosecutions are rare and police only pursue the most serious cases. The matters where there's some credible threat of violence or uh, against somebody. While online abuse on Twitter may not be new, the unprecedented number of women in Britain going public about the issue is. And that's putting pressure on the company to streamline its complicated method of flagging abuse. Just you're in that place of you know coming under fire from abuse and then you're faced with this form that's not simple. Twitter responded saying we value the feedback from our users and are testing ways of simplifying the reporting process. And it added it can suspend an abuser's account. But Twitter company executives will face more tough questions soon. They've been called to testify before British MPs about online protection. So I hope they now do recognize that this is a serious problem which they're going to have to do something about. And do a better job at tracking and tackling the trolls lurking in the Twitterverse. Stuart Greer, Global News, London.